Mordle. Oh. Miss Mordle, you, you are an angel. Oh, Mr. Tupman, all women are angels, they say. Then what can you be? To what can I, without presumption, compare you? Where else can I hope to find so rare a combination of excellence and beauty? Oh, men are such deceivers. They are, they are, but not all men. There does exist at least one being who could never change, who would be content to devote his whole existence to your happiness, who lives but in your eyes, who breathes but in your smiles. Could such an individual exist? He does exist. He is here, Miss Wardle. Mr. Tupman, rise! Never! Ah! Till you say you love me. Oh, Rachel, say you love me. Oh, Mr. Tupman, I can scarcely breathe it, but... You're not wholly indifferent to me. Oh, oh, Rachel, my angel. Oh. oh, Mr. Tupman, we are observed. What do you want here? Lunch is ready, sir. Oh, lunch is ready. Uh, have you just come here? Just. He knows nothing of what happened. Nothing. He was asleep, as usual. say that? Only a graze on the arm, my dear fellow. Deuce lucky escape. We must get you back to Dingley Dell. Mr. Pickwick, I bless my soul on another casualty. It's silly of me, I know, but I'm afraid I've broken my leg. My dear fellow. Right, right. Hello. Hold hard. Why, it's Mr. Jingle. Oh, providential sight. Put that down. Don't lift him, possible sprain. Uh, Dr. V. Ears. Uh, cold water and splints. Mm. Came down like a wolf on the fold. Charlie, and bitten by snake. Borrowed Roger's sword, saved life. Oh, what oh, is the matter with the little old gentleman? Why have they got him in a wheelbarrow? I do hope it's not serious. What's the matter with Mr. Tupman? Now, don't be frightened, What's dear. the matter? Mr. Pickwick has turned his ankle and Mr. Tupman has met with a little accident. Oh! Oh, Auntie! Pour some cold water over her, quickly. No! A matter! Dear, dear madam, calm yourself. Oh, it's his voice. Do not agitate yourself. Out of danger. Dress room myself. Then you're not dead. Oh, say you're not dead. Don't be a fool, Rachel. How could he say he wasn't dead if he was? And vice versa. It is to the presence of mind and resourcefulness of this gentleman that we are all indebted, my oh, dear. please. Allow me to present an old and honored friend of our friends, Mr. Alfred Jingle. You're most obedient. My sister, Rachel, my daughters, Isabel and Emily. Exquisite examples of femininity. Overwhelmed. Beauty, thy name is woman. Mr. Jingle was already on his way to London, but we have prevailed upon him to honor us with a few days of his company. Well, oh, <laughs> well it is an awkward. Uh, luggage all going on ahead. Uh, by water? Quite. No rag to back. Oh, scarecrow. Ah, ah. Why, I'm sure that all our wardrobes are at your disposal, eh? Why, bless me, we're forgetting all about Mr. Pickwick. Oh, poor Mr. You must Pickwick. come inside at oh, once, Mr. Shame. We I'm must sure have the doctor all right when you rested it. I wish to make it quite clear that my wardrobe is not at Mr. Jingle's disposal. Jane. <gasps> Mrs. Mrs. Hmm? What do you want? Oh, he wants to make your flesh creep. Oh, I see, Mr. Tupper, are hugging and a kissing a Miss Rachel in this very summer house you're sitting in now. Mr. Tupper and my daughter? Yes, Mrs. And she met him? Yes, Mrs. Oh, at her time of life. I never did like the looks of that Mr. Tupman. From the moment I clapped eyes on him. A fortune hunter, that's what he is. He's after her money. Yes, Mrs. And she's a fool. Yes, Mrs. <laughs> Miss Wardle. 
Forgive intrusion. No time for ceremony. All is discovered. Sir? Shh. Fat boy, scoundrel, treacherous dog, toto lady. Oh, lady furious, raving. My mother. You and Tuppy. Tuppy. Kissing in greenhouse. Oh, Mr. Jekyll, if you're trying to insult On me. On the contrary, overheard fat boy. Come to warn you. Dreadful danger. Tender my services. Prevent hubbub. Other hand, think it an insult. Leave room. Oh, what shall I do? My brother will be furious. No possible doubt. Outrageous. Oh, Mr. Jingle, what can I say? Uh, say, um, say he dreamt it. Nothing simpler. Fat boy horsewhipped. Your word believed. End of matter. One word of warning. Beware of false heart beating beneath smiling face. Whoever do you mean? Wild horses wouldn't drag. Only wants you for your money. <gasps> You're referring to Mr. Tubman? Lip sealed. Old friend. Lady killer. Loves another. Another? Who? Niece, Emily. My niece? It can't be. I won't believe it. Watch him. I will. Watch his looks, his whispers. He'll sit next to her at table. He'll flatter her and cut you. Cut me? Dead. You'll see for yourself. I will indeed. You'll cast him out? I will. You'll take another? Yes. You shall. I shall be that man. A worship from first. Devoted slave. Inner torment. Sleepless nights. Fortune of my own. Love you for yourself. Death to us part. Dare I hope. Oh, Mr. Jingle. And so, to sum it all up in a nutshell, Miss Rachel herself wishes me to appear indifferent until all suspicion is averted. Exactly. Gather a bag. Family furious. Pretend to make advances to niece, Emily. Emily? Emily. Convince family, fat boy liar. On no account risk tate our tape with Miss Rachel yet. Fat him fire. And she has thought out all this just to protect me. Exactly. Constant to eternity. Heart of gold. Lucky man. Envy you. My dear friend. My dear. Please tell her I do exactly as she advises. And my warmest thanks to you for your disinterested oh. kindness, my dear friend. How can I ever help you? Oh, don't talk of it. Unless... Need ten pounds. A very particular purpose. Repay you in three days. Well, if it's only for three days, I think I could oblige you. Three days at the outside. After that, rich man. Repay you twofold. Remember? Not a look. Not a wink. Not a syllable. Not a whisper. If anything, be rude. Rude? Or rude. Only way to convince family. Remember? Take care. I'll take care. And I'll take care. Oh, you are task without bloodshed. I will accompany Mr. Wartle. I'll flash him! I'll flash him! We can put Tuppen back to bed. I'll not stand it for I'll have my lawyer on him. Now you do the asking. You're the lawyer. My dear sir. If they're not here, we'll never find them. This is a curious old inn of yours. If you'd sent word you was a coming, we'd have had it repaired, sir. Uh, pretty busy, eh? Oh, very well, sir. We shan't go bankrupt and we shan't make our fortune. We eat our boiled mutton with our capers and we don't care for horseradish when we can get beef. Ah, you're a wag, aren't you? My oldest brother was troubled with that complaint, sir. 
It may be catching. I used to sleep with him. The fact of the matter is, we want to know, and we ask the question of you in order that we may not arouse apprehension inside, we want to know who you've got in the inn at the moment. Well, there's a wooden leg in number six, a pair of Hessians in 13, two pairs of halves in the commercial, these here painted tops in the snuggery inside the bar, and five more tops in the coffee room. Nothing more. Stop a bit. Yes. There's a pair of pumps, very well worn, and a pair of ladies' country shoes in number five. What's the maker's name? Brown. Where of? Muggleton. It's them, by heaven, we found them. We're in carry. Show us to the room, there's no time to be now, lost. Now, my dear sir, caution, caution. Show us to the room at once, and this half sovereign is yours. Follow me, sir. Open up. Yes, yes. Oh. You're an artful blackguard, aren't you? I ought to have your horse whipped. Yes, sir, please. See the defamation of character. Calm yourself. How dare you drag my sister from my house? Aye, aye, you can ask that. How dare you, sir? Who the devil are you, sir? Who oh, is he, your scoundrel? He's my lawyer. Mr. Parker of Gray's Inn. Parker, I'll have this man indicted, prosecuted. I'll ruin him. And you? You, Rachel, at a time of life when you ought to know better. What do you mean by running away with a vagabond, bringing disgrace on your family and making yourself miserable? <laughs> Get your body done and come back. Where's that boots? <laughs> Call a hectic coach, sir, directly. Yes, sir. And bring the lady's bill, do you hear? Do you hear? Certainly, sir. Rachel, you will get your bonnet on. Nothing of the kind. Leave the room, sir. Lady, free to act as she pleases. She is more than one and twenty. More than one and twenty? She's more than one and forty. Wow! Oh, I'm not! You are! You're fifty if you're a day. Ah! A glass of water, quick. A glass of water! Bring a bucket of water and throw it all over her. It'll do her good. She deserves every drop of it. All is carried out, sir. Boots, get me an officer. Stay, stay. Consider, sir. Consider. I will not consider, sir. She's her own mistress. See who dares take her away against her own wishes. I will not be taken away. I don't wish it. My dear sir, my dear sir, we're in a very awkward situation. I warned you before we came there was nothing to look to but a compromise. What kind of compromise do you suggest? Uh, Mr. Jingle, uh, would you be good enough to step into the next room? Well, sir? Now, my dear sir, I put it to you. Uh, don't you think that uh, 50 pounds and uh, liberty uh, would be better than Miss Wardle and her expectations? Won't do. Why not? Not enough. Well, my dear sir, we won't waste time splitting straws. Say 70. Won't do. 80. Come, I'll give you the cash at once. Won't do. Well, my dear sir, just tell me what we'll do. Well, expensive affair. Out of pocket, breach of honor. Loss of lady. They say a hundred. And twenty? Oh, my dear sir. Give it to him and let him go! Two fifties, two tens. A receipt, if you please. Oh, come, sir. Gentleman's agreement. Oh, uh... Here, sir. What is it? A marriage license. Um, uh, give to Tuppy. Do the same lady. Hello? It's time you were taught a lesson. Furniture must be cheaper where you come from, sir. Old still, sir. Now, what's the use of running after a man as has made his lucky and got to the other end of London by now, eh? 